Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Google Chrome updates are disabled by your administrator error you get when you're trying to update your Chrome web browser. So this should hopefully be able to resolve your problem. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Chrome web browser. And you want to select the menu icon near the top right corner of the browser. And this is represented by three vertical dots. You want to go ahead and left click on that and then select settings. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down this page here until you get to advanced and you want to go left click on that one time to expand that drop down. Now that you are here you want to go and scroll down a little bit further until you get the option that says reset and clean up. Restore settings to their original defaults. Go ahead and left click on that. It should say this will reset your startup page, new tab page, search engine, and pin tabs. It will also disable all extensions and clear temporary data like cookies. Your bookmarks, history, and safe passwords will not be cleared. Go ahead and select reset settings here. You will have to, obviously, as it implies, turn your extensions back on when you relaunch the browser. So go ahead, close out of here, relaunch your browser, and attempt to run the update again. Hopefully that has resolved your problem. Now, if it has not, another thing we can try would be to go ahead and open up the registry editor. So, click on the start button, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, check back a registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to select yes. Now, before you do anything to registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it. And in order to do that, it's quite simple. Go ahead and select the file tab up at the top left. Select export. Save it to convenient location on your computer after giving it a file name. Usually the date in which you're making the backup is what I would personally recommend. And then make sure export range is selected to all. Go ahead and save it. And then if you ever need to import it back in, you just would do file import. And then navigate over to the file location. So quite simple. So now where we go from here is going to depend on your version of Windows. So if you are running Windows 10, you're going to be navigating to HK Current User. Right here, so HK Current User. If you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8, you're going to go ahead and select HK Local Machine. So there's going to be a little bit of difference here. So HK Local Machine, double click on that if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8, or you know even Windows Vista if you're still running that, which hopefully nobody is that's watching this video. But if you're on Windows 10, you're going to select HK Current User, double click on it, and keep in mind at this point the folders will be the same. It's just the difference is if you select the HK Current User or HK Local Machine, you're not going to find the correct folder down the road here. So that's the main reason why I'm just putting that out there. So again, I've expanded the HK Current User because I am in fact on Windows 10. So I've expanded that. Now you're going to go ahead and double click on the software folder. And now there should be something here that says Google. We're going to go ahead and left click on that, or I should say double click on that. Should be something also in here that says update. Go ahead and left click on that folder, expand that. Google, there should be a folder under here that says update. Go ahead and select that. Now, on the right side of this right panel, there should be a default value in here. It might say value not set. There should be a default option. You want to go ahead and double click on that. Value data, set that to zero. So just type the number zero. Left click on OK. Now you want to go, if you do not see an additional key in here, this is update default. You want to go ahead and create the D word value. So in order to do that, just right click in a blank spot select new and then select the word 32 bit value At this point you want to type in update default so again update default the u in update and the d in default should both be capital no spaces in between hit enter on your keyboard once you have it exactly as it appears on my screen here and now that you have that here you want to go ahead and double click on it set the value data to one and then left click on OK. So hopefully that was pretty easy and straightforward for you guys to follow there. It shouldn't have been that big of a hassle to do. So close out of here once you're done. I'm just going to back out of that and close out of here. I'm going to open up Google Chrome here just to show you guys that Chrome is still functioning. 
And once Chrome's open, I'm also going to go ahead and check for updates here. So I'm going to go down to help about Google Chrome. Chrome should automatically check for updates, but obviously if you're on this tutorial, you probably tried to manually install them and you got an error. So you can see Google Chrome's up to date here, it ran the check. If it was unable to check for updates, we would know it pretty quickly, and we can see that is not the case. Also, before we end the tutorial, just to show you guys if you had any extensions on here that were disabled as part of the initial reset method that we did, which is the first thing I would suggest, just go in the menu icon, select more tools, and then select extensions. And if you had any extensions in here, just turn them to the on position. If there's a blue oval to the right, that means it's currently on. If it's grayed out, that means it's turned off. And obviously you might have had some of them already disabled to just enable the ones you want to enable, obviously. So again, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Just wanted to highlight that to a little end point to this video. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.